Well, hello everyone, I'm Verowak, and today in Rogue Tower we're going to do a one tower challenge. I'm not sure which one I want to do. I guess it depends what cards we get. So we're going to start this off and take the hit to our tower. This is so weird seeing this happen. All right. Well, we're getting mortars, I guess. Okay, so mortars only. I don't know if this is worth it or not, but I might get a bit of gold from the houses. I feel like it's not, in the end, it's not going to be really worth it, but we'll see. I mean, so far, so good. Oh, God. We just have to hit the one to know. <laughs> okay, well, I think priority issues. Oh, there's nothing here. Uh, oh, I guess we'll get more tower health. In case a few of them, you know, sneak by, which it seems like it. Just get, get them. Don't let them. Oh no. Well, thankfully we don't have banditry yet. Oh, okay. Some upgrades. I see the ballista range and I'm always tempted to take it, but it's pointless here because we're not building any ballistas. Let's try to separate this a little bit. Hopefully we don't let any of them sneak through anymore. Uh, I guess it's probably best to get more health. Shield would be good, but we don't have to deal with shield for another several levels. Ooh, plus three. Soon enough, I just need a bit more gold. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll go for armor and least health, and hopefully that'll cover all. Perfect. Mana? These are all useless. I'm having terrible RNG. Oh look, I need more gold. The mortars are so expensive. It's gonna take me for, it takes forever just to get enough gold. And I don't have banditry, so I'm not getting more gold per kills. Oh boy. There's just something so satisfying with the explosion. I don't know. I love having the blast radius. It's, it makes everything so much better. I think that's why I think mortars are my favorite, just because it has such a nice AOE. Ooh, perfect. Blast radius. Oh my god. I'm like halfway to the next mortar. Well, we'll just patiently wait. If I could get more range, at least they'll shoot faster. Or earlier, rather. It's, it's actually it does a lot of damage, but I guess it's uh, it's a bit unfortunate if we all if all my mortars hit one target or aim for one target and it dies quickly. Oh uh, well, we're not gonna use haunted houses. Let's face it. Well, we got like thirty some gold. It's definitely not worth it. I can almost build it. I could build. One mortar in three turns, it seems. So close, not really. Oh boy, this is... Wasted. Okay, okay, most armor. Or most health. It's, I don't know, it's just, to me, it's satisfying, especially when you start getting the dots for the mortars, and then there's just streaks of colors everywhere. Uh, unlock the armor so we can get burn. There we go. All right, 725 gold. We're almost there. At least there's more and more enemies that show up. I like to call these guys the Oogie Boogies. They're like sort of like mini oogies, sort of like mini me's, but not quite. I f I don't know how oogie's gonna go. It might. I guess it depends what cards I get. Cause oh no, we might 
Anyways, we'll see, we'll see. We, I still have like several cards to choose from, thankfully. We haven't had one reach the tower in a bit, so unless I've jinxed it right now, we're doing good. Blast radius. Oh, bleed would be nice, but blast radius. I don't know if it's... It would probably be best if I destroy... Demolish the ones near the tower to build them closer up, but... Because it takes a while for them to reach this one. I think that the noise of the mortars is also extremely satisfying. There we go. Get that armor. Imagine you're one of those enemies and you're walking along a road and you just see random mortars flying and exploding everywhere. I guess they're probably running, you know, as fast as they can. So I guess technically you could turn around, but even if you turn around, there's still mortars getting shot behind you. Oh boy. I'm glad I'm on my side. Ooh, bleed. That's gonna help with Ogi a lot. Just need just need to be able to build more mortars. Yeah, it just takes a while to get to here. If only, like, hmm, if the map was laid out better, our early mortars could also shoot, but that's not the case. So that's a bit unfortunate. We've got the red streak. They're, we're just attacking the same ones. That's fine. I think one thing that would be nice is if you have, you know, you have a three-way split, and then if all of them can bunch up together, then the mortar is going to be even stronger instead of just having one line. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious what we're going to get here. University would be nice. It's good to get the university early on because you could get crit, but I think I just want to do more more damage. More like damage to armor. And... Then again, crit would have probably been nice. But then again, it's only like 10% crit. I think I just want to increase my overall damage first. A little bit more. 800 gold for a mortar. Well, we're almost there. We'll get it in the middle of this this wave, I guess. Here we go. I feel, I don't want to say I'm overconfident. I'm going to say I'm pretty confident um, that we should be able to, well, first of all, kill Oogie because we do have the bleed and that's going to help a lot. I mean, once Oogie gets here, though we don't have any way of slowing him down. Oh no, my only slow is going to be if I get poison and we get the creeping cough to slow. But that's okay, that's like a future Vero problem. That's like a, you know, wave 25 problem possibly when things start picking up. Oh, that was so satisfying. Almost. Oh, come on. It's <laughs> just this one little dude. You've got it, little buddy. Or not. I'll, I'll try to get base of all the dots and then we'll increase the dot percentage. So I guess the goal here is to have one mortar start killing them off. And then when they get past it, we'll have backups. I sort of like the way that it's set up at the moment. Not the map necessarily, I would prefer it if it didn't go one tile like east or northeast. It would go 
where, where my mortar is now if it's starting going the other direction. Northwest. That would be nice because I think if I build mortars closer to the border, it would work. We're so close, another one. There we go. We'll just have the most shield because we're gonna need that soon. Actually, we'll just, yeah, we'll just do all of them. It's hard to know when to change the priorities because the priorities don't matter, which is a bit unfortunate, but, but that's fine. Well, more bleed damage is sort of our only option. Is this gonna be like a one path type of map for to like level 30? That would that would not be great unless it wraps around. Then I'd be okay. If it wraps around and goes like near my my tower, that would be okay. What are you doing? Oh yeah, most shield, most health. So most health most likely. Look how much damage it does to the armor. It's just like really nice. I don't know, seeing mortars hit, it just is such an, it feels like it's just such a huge amount of damage. I like it. Yeah, I don't think they're, I don't think they're gonna get to the tower. I mean, we'll see next, next, wave because it's Oogie, so it might be slightly different. And then obviously the level 20, the level 30, the level 40 waves, those are gonna be the scary ones. They always are. And, and also 32. You know what, I feel like 32 and 42 are also difficult. Like it feels like it's a bump up in difficulty. And two mortars, death. Oh my God, range. Okay, well, we can't reach over, I guess. There's Oogie. Okay. He'll make it eventually. Oh, he doesn't know what's coming. Yeah, no, it doesn't reach. Okay, I don't want that there. <laughs> That's pointless. Where do I want to place it? Plus three. Definitely going for plus three since I can't have that many mortars. Get Oogie, okay. okay. So we're giving like a hundred and some bleed per hit. That's that's pretty good though, because it should have a constant bleed, which will help us. And like those phases, the path is like really long. So I guess this is actually a blessing and a curse. We curse because I can't really have them all grouped up, but a blessing because it takes them a while to reach. So I have more shots. Yeah, this map is actually not too bad now that I think of it more. I'm a little paranoid for Oogie. He's, uh, hasn't taken that much damage, but at least everything else is almost dead, so we'll focus on it. All right, Oogie. Show me what you've got. I, I think, I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah, definitely. It's actually a lot of damage. I just need to increase the amount of bleed per, per turn or per second, I guess. Because right now I'm just the base, which is not really that good. It's 24. Ugh. All right, treasure chests, let's go. Oh, that's my first banditry? Interesting. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's pointless. And this is their only option. Well, there's that's that. Mana bank is useless because, well, I'm not gonna use mana. If haunted houses were better, I could see using mana banks as well, but it 
to me, the haunted houses don't give enough gold soon enough. Like, sure, eventually I might, it might be good, but I don't know. I've used, I've tried to use them a few times and it's just, it doesn't seem worth it. Okay, well now we've got shield though. Well, let's see, I don't know how the shield's gonna go because we don't have poison. So close. 1100 soon. A couple more kills. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll try to focus more on shield. Or the least armor. I'm always scared for the shield here. Especially because my mortars don't do that much damage to shield, so... You know what? I have faith in these mortars. My, uh... My military... people are great. Look at their aim. They're hitting everything. It sure has taken a while to lower the shield, though. At least I have, good, like, decent range so far for the mortars. I don't have that much, but... Like, I could, I could build more mortars, like, in the hills, but I don't know if that's a good idea. There's also all these houses. I find sometimes, like, there's three houses right there. I feel like sometimes I don't get a lot of houses, but this time I get a lot. Well, a, more than usual, I'll say. Maybe not a lot, but more than usual. Just as if it's taunting me. Okay, so it just takes a little while to kill them. So I need to get poison damage. Oh my god, right there. Ask and you shall receive. <gasps> Oh, perfect. This is what I want. So now they're all grouping up instead of being one massively long line. Oh, this is nice. Well, it'll take a while. And look, now our mortars are all colorful, all three colors. Perfect. Almost there. So close. Just a few more, a few more. This is gonna be nice. I think this is starting to go very well. So my goal is gonna be to expand around that three path intersection evenly. So if I go three tiles in one direction, I wanna go three tiles in the other two directions as well. So the basically all the mobs meet up together so they're grouped up. That'll be the operative plan. I think I like this type of map. It's nice, it's actually nice not having a split so close. I do feel this has taken a little bit more time than I would like, but... but then again, let's face it, if, if I didn't kill them up ahead, they would still make it all the way back here, so it's still the same amount of time, it just feels slower for some reason. range, yes. There we go. This is nice. <laughs> Look at that mortar shot. It's so high. It's just going like straight up. My god. Basically, in order to be a mortar operator, you have to have a physics degree. There's no way you can do do it without it. You have to do basically instant calculations in your head for trajectory and yeah, there's no other way. Can't reach, oh, maybe up here I can reach. <gasps> Those are extra mortars, that's good. Since they can reach the top. 
They're getting a little closer than I want. But then again, it's the fast ones. Oh, that felt weird, demolishing, but... I don't usually demolish, I usually just like leave the towers in place, but these ones are just so expensive. I really like the demolish feature so you can actually get all your gold back. That's one thing I'm really happy for. Oh, this nice map. Um, ooh, I could get banditry. Or more poison. Just do banditry. Let's face it, we need more gold, because we these mortars are expensive. Alright, let's see. Expand. Perfect. And then the next one will expand the other direction. And then they're all going to be grouped up. So these can reach, so we sort of have like, you know, double dipping over, I guess. A bit of extra firepower. They just look like fireworks, actually. We get a bit more fireworks here. That's all it is. These dudes are fast. But at least they're not very strong. They're not strong. Again, I think the shield is the... Not really scariest, but at least for now. It's a good indication that later this the shield are going to be the scarier ones. So we'll do at least armor, shield, and health just so we can have different targets to hit, I guess. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not worried yet. Maybe eventually we'll get uh, another banditry also. So we can get one more. More poison damage, I guess. It is. There's nothing else I can get. I mean, we... yeah. The others are towers and we don't need mana. Poison is good though, because we have... I feel like we have a shield issue at the moment. What should we do? We'll focus on shields, I think. I like how high up they go. The mortars, they just fly straight up into the sky and then they just land down with a bang. Those little fast shield dudes are not... not my favorites. The slow ones are fine. The fast ones, not so much. There we go. And then we'll be able to build another mortar somewhere soon. I still really like the colors. Oh look! Banditry or burn. Either could be good. I mean, let's just get plus one range to ballistas. That would be completely useless. And mana, again. There's nothing... Mortars don't use mana at all, so mana is just not worth it. I guess banditry. For more gold. More burn would also be nice, but oh well. This, I think this is like one of the best spots right here. Very, very satisfying. Look at them all grouped up. Oh, they don't know better. We'll just upgrade all the damage so we get more dots and... damage them slowly. Yeah, the slow shield ones are... I'm not worried about them. Again, it'll be the ones that 
I don't know which ones are the ones, but whenever you kill them, they spawn more dudes, or like they fire the missiles. Fire the missiles, those ones. I'm worried about the missiles a little bit, because if they, they make it far, the missiles are pretty fast. But I guess mortars sort of, you know, since we have brilliant minds manning them, they will hit the mortars anyway, so it's not too bad. There is the best place, though, where everything just groups up. Look at that. And then the next one will be expanded down there. So level 22. So we've got Zombie Oogie soon. I think it should be fine. Uh, I don't know. He's a bit slower, so I'm hoping that that'll help. Hopefully the, the other path, the one that I'm expanding to next, will go all along the current path that we have. So when they spawn, we'll have a few extra shots, like immediate shots from the mortars that are already placed. They're getting sort of far. I could probably get rid of some of these. I don't think I don't think it's worth getting the like 40 gold. This feels this feels better. At least we'll have a bit of a bit of help on the main road and then in case anything gets through. Well, I guess this is the entire main road. Uh, let's increase poison so we get rid of the poison faster. Well, let's see. I guess it's just... I could build one here. Maybe a plus three or plus two. Plus two is not too bad, but plus three is better. What is that from? Oh, Wonder Woman 84. Oh, oh never mind. I forgot that movie existed. Life is good, but it could be better. Is that life is great? I don't... I think this life is good, but it can be better. I suppose. So, so far it is expanding sort of where I would like it to go. It's not branching off yet, so I'll take what I can get. We'll have at least one more tile, so it'll give us a bit, a bit more firepower immediately. I, I feel like there's just gold flying everywhere. These must all be like, I feel like these are all leprechauns carrying their pot of gold back to I guess my tower well that doesn't make sense maybe they have to cross my tower or they plan on using the pots of gold on my towers to destroy it but whenever they they die they just they just have gold like flying everywhere I don't know who your pot of gold they take quite a bit of hits that's okay so the ghosts are a bit tough, and same with the shield guys. Uh, I think we'll do more damage to shield so we get more poison. I mean, we, increasing the burn and e increasing the bleed is always good, but I think at the moment shield is my, my weakness. Oh no! Okay, well that's the last path, I guess, that goes along our main road. It's still good, though. It's still good. It's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. I think it might be time to upgrade these. Basically, by increasing overall damage, um, we're just applying more dots, which is really good. I'm still waiting for the creeping cough so my poison can slow them down, which I, I'd like to think that it'll show up eventually. It's possible it won't show up, but I, I'm being optimistic here. Or am I being mortaristic? <gasps> creeping cough or university. But creeping cough is definitely worth it. 
I don't know when it's gonna show up again. But this is my only means of slowing. Oh boy, it's zombie oogie time. And we can slow him. I think this is perfect timing. I'm getting creeping cough for him. Oh. Just great. Everything's getting slowed now. <laughs> the zombie is getting so many mortars to the face. But that means we're not attacking the the other ones then, so maybe I need to put another few mortars to focus on non-zombie. Like, yeah, huh. We are focusing most of our efforts on the boss. Like, this patch of enemies right here aren't really getting hit. It'll be fine. Uh, the bleed might kill them. Bleed will kill them. Okay. I was a little afraid of zombie Oogie, but I think, I think we're fine. Especially because we have Creeping Cough. That sort of reaffirms everything that everything's going to be all right. I think this is furthest they've gone in a while. So the more... Oh boy. Enhance. Enhance. All right, and... Look at the zombie Oogie right there. Just in time. Oh, well, we don't really have much of an option. Well, we still don't have much of an option. Ooh. This is interesting. Definitely the plus five is going to be amazing. So let's just upgrade a little bit anyways. And look at that range. That range is just insane. So we'll just sort of upgrade all of them a little bit. I do have a lot of gold. We're almost at level 30, and 30 is the scary one, I would say. Oh boy. Oh boy, they're getting a bit far. I'm just a little bit worried here. Hmm. No, no, it's it's fine. We've got I actually, you know what? We've we've got a lot of path left. One of them doesn't have. Okay, there we go. It's got bleed. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. Well, now we're getting universities. So with the universities unlocked, we can get the extra damage cards. Uh, extra damage and crit. Look when they all all the mortars take off. Oh, so satisfying. I would like. I it's not necessary, but I would like a bigger blast radius. <laughs> Six thousand gold. So it's either build more mortars or universities or upgrade. Maybe upgrading. I I don't think the poison enemies take an extra shield damage per hit because there's not that many hits that I do. So there are definitely other things I would rather have. Alright, let's upgrade this to 15%, get the next one 15%, or not, we'll wait till we get more kills. Alright, we'll come back to it, because... You know, I think overall this is, uh, this is actually going really well. 
I think we're not even level 30 yet. Maybe I spoke too soon. That chunk is- that clunk- that clump. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That clump is, uh... Pretty scary. Speaking of clump, that's a that might be a good word for Wordle. C L U M P. That's five words, five letters rather, <laughs> five words. Since I started playing it, I sort of. Whenever I think of a word, I'm like, oh my god, that's five letters. I could use that, and then I never use it because I forget about it. Like ghost. Ghost is a good. I mean, it's an interesting one. Ooh, ten percent crit. Yes, please. So now we've got ten percent crit. So. Oh yeah, we have universities, I forgot. So we've got health, we've got... Monster magic. Well, that's that. Look at that. Oh, well, there we go. 15%. That's what I like doing. I like having a university for each. It's hard to justify increasing the percentage of the other ones when the the cost just goes up so much. Hurry, hurry. Trojan horse. Oh, it's it's sneaking by. No one's noticing it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We got it. Another healing. Okay. I feel like I need more power here. I guess I could have upgraded. Eh. Well, I can kill them with fire. It's the only thing we can get. The gold rush is not worth it, I find. 750 gold? Eh. All right, so I think we might just expand from this path now because we'll have two points of joining. 2,000 gold for mortars. That is pretty darn expensive. I feel like I'm just using the same priority targets or target priorities because I, I can't remember which ones I've done. Oh yeah, they're really grouping up. I mean, the, it, it's working out so far. Yeah, I, I would say overall it's going pretty well. Oh, this was level 30! I didn't even notice! Actually, it's going way better than I thought. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's either we get more poison or more bleed, because the rest is just not... I mean, we're not getting a new tower, we're not getting mana, and ballistas are terrible. Well, I mean, we're not using ballistas. So either poison or bleed. I think I'm going to go for poison, though. I just, I'm really, I'm really into getting rid of the shield as fast as possible because, especially because that's like our, our least amount of damage, I would say. So there we go. And we'll expand here. We could get more universities, I suppose, but I don't, I feel like I don't have that much gold. I want it here because it covers more space. More, yeah, more area. The plus five would be nice for more damage, but if they get past, like, to the other, to the second three-way intersection, then it's, it's not really that great. So I just want to shoot as many mortars as possible. But yeah, mortars are great because everything in the AoE gets hit. So all of it gets slowed. 
and dots applied and damage. I would love ballistas if they had an option for either like an AoE or a ricochet of some kind. Want more crit for sure. Uh, yeah, it's either 10% more crit or 5% more crit. The university is good because it's 5% for all towers, but I mean, we only have mortars, so I would rather take the 10% for mortars. We could build a couple mortars or upgrade or university. I feel like for the most part, our mortars are doing enough damage to destroy everything. I don't know. I feel like plus four could, I mean, plus four is always good. And then we'll upgrade it a bit. Just a little bit, just so we have more damage. Because I feel like a level one is, is lackluster at this point. Unless it, yeah. So, I'm, I feel like not many, I haven't seen many people use this, but um, the marked, I use that because I don't, I don't want three priorities to compete against each other. So I used Mark to basically get rid of one because I'm not using Lookout Towers. Which makes perfect sense to me. Like you could use two Marked if you want. Like highest shield and then two Marked, which the Marked ones will not have priority, but the highest shield. So it'll always attack the highest shield. So that's one way of doing it. Um, because if you have highest shield and highest armor, it doesn't matter which one's first. It'll calculate which one has like the highest score, I guess, and attack that one. So if you want to focus on highest shield, you can't guarantee that's what you're going for. Another 15. I'm a little scared that they're going to get through, especially, again, this is wave 32, so. The missiles. Oh, the missiles are destroyed. Five percent crit or bleeding enemies take. No, I don't feel like that's great. I'd rather have other things. Ooh, max bleed though. But crit is nice. That's what twenty-five percent crit now. Yeah. Mortars are working very well. I feel like I did really luck out with a really good map. At first I didn't think so, but the more and more I see this map, the more I like it. I feel like the, mo the mortars near my base aren't really doing much. But they're sort of like a backup if something gets through, they're there. Because if I get rid of them, that's when they'll get through. And then that's when we'll lose, and I'll be devastated. And I won't be able to sleep at night for the next... I mean, you know, three months, but that's fine. Missiles are destroyed. This is good. Well, more crit. My towers are like between level one and 20. I think for the most part, I didn't really upgrade any more. So that would give me between one to 20% crit and lose one base damage. Or we could just, you know, get better haunted houses. Yeah, right. Oh, there's kill them with fire, though. I didn't see that one. So that could increase our fire... Or, sorry, our maximum burn per second fire. 
from 30 to 80. I think I'll get that one. The crit is nice, but I feel like my towers aren't that high level. All right, so we got our universities are working a little bit. More, two more health, three more armor, two more shield for all my towers. I honestly would like to just get more gold so I can invest more into universities. Because I'd like all my universities to have like 20%. 20% is a good number. 15% is pretty nice, but 20% is much, much nicer. One in five chances, it's... I could, I could go with that. I guess I have a lot of armor. Oh, this one's... This one's probably a good... A good addition. Yeah, just... Just in case. I'm getting a little scared of them getting through. Okay, more universities. Shield, we'll get armor, um, more damage to shields. That's five. That's five as well. It's a five, five. We'll expand, oh, a two split. Oh boy, this is very nice. What? So how do I not have gold? We started- oh yeah, we don't have all our ballistas at the beginning. I'm used to by now being like whenever I start a new- whenever I expand, I get a bunch of gold. But that's not the case here because we have like, what, three, maybe like maximum five house coverage. Very sad. I like- I like having the influx of gold at the start of every wave. Let's get 15%. Look at this clump of enemies. Having a clump of enemies and hitting them with ballistas is not great. Like visually, because you're like, oh no, nothing's taking damage, but with mortars, everything gets hurt. Oh yeah, he's, he's dead. Alright, we've got that. Oh, Robo Oogie. That's a lot of... So we got 33,000 poison on him, 32,000 uh, burn, and about the same bleed. Okay, well. Poor Robo Oogie, he's poisoned, he's burning. He, he's literally on fire at the moment, I would say. And uh, he's constantly bleeding. Uh, max bleed, actually. Well, max bleed, burn, and poison. Max bleed. Uh, max all three again. Nice. More armor. I'm getting getting pretty lucky with the RNG here. So the goal is to have all of these paths join at the same time. Again. That's the that's the key to this, I think at least. And so far, it seems to be working. Shield and armor. I feel like now we've got way more shield. My universities are slowly giving me buffs. Look at all of them clumped up. They're like in such packed groups that the mortars are absolutely fantastic. Look at that. And they're all being slowed too, so... Basically, they're being slowed, and whatever they're spawning gets ahead, so the mortars down the road can kill them first. I think it's a perfect strategic plan that I've had all along. 
plus five. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll just get more damage from attacks. That's a lot of damage. So I think level 40, we'll see how that goes. And I think based on level 40, we'll be able to tell if we're going to win. I still think level 42 has something, but I don't remember. The bosses aren't the uh, the scary part. Though I did have a run where Big Brain Oogie was getting pretty damn far and still had a lot of health. He was getting closer and closer. To, I think he was like six tiles from my tower, maybe. So I built a... I think it was a flame tower or a poison tower. I don't... poison spray. I don't remember, but I leveled it up to level 50 because I was scared. Or like, I think it was like level 40 something. It's still pretty damn high because I was scared he was going to survive. And I had to sell sell my um, towers back. Ugh. That's scary. Look at all this. They're all going for the one? No, okay. Most of them are. Okay, well. It is what it is. Look at this. So well grouped up. Oh boy. Sight for sore eyes. Uh, maybe we'll just do the least of all. Nah, we'll do most. The little dudes are like scurrying through. Oh, haha, <laughs> slowed down. Creeping Cop is extremely, extremely good. Oh boy, this is... It's fine, it's fine. I think, I think to the enemies, maybe it's just raining. Very colorful rain. Oh, crit deal. Yes, that's good. We are going to get rid of those shields so fast. Okay, let's get this one. Most shield or least shield, we're focusing on shields. This one we're focusing on armor. And obviously a little bit of everything because the AoE does damage to everything. All right, next next wave is probably the uh, the deciding one. Might as well just have another mortar just for oh, I need more gold. There we go. What are we gonna target you now? Let's do most. Shield. Really focus on the shield here. So much armor. Uh, I don't have the slow cooker. Is it the slow cooker? I don't know. I think the slower you are. Yeah, the slower you are, the faster the, the burn. I don't have that yet. Increase the maximum bleed, poison, burn. Good. We're at 200 bleed, poison, and burn per second. That's good. Oh, we've got the portals now. Okay, that's the end of that's the end of the expanding. Oh, this is level 40. Okay. Oh, 
All right, mortars, I have faith in you. I think so. Oh yeah. Not even worried. Listen to my voice. No worries whatsoever. Not frightened. We are so going to do this. That's a lot of grouped up enemies, but that's fine. Because we have mortars, we'll just AoE them all down. Like that group. Oh, they're a little fast. How far are they gonna make it? Actually, they're, they're, yeah, they're not making around that next corner. The, the mortarists? I don't know if that's what they're called. Near my tower must be so bored. They've been doing nothing for days. All they can hear is all the mortars landing, and that's it. Oh, slow cooker. There we go. Thankfully, there's no friendly fire. Imagine if your mortars accidentally hit your own mortars, it could get destroyed. No. So we have the flying portals now. I didn't notice if we had them last wave, but we do have them now for sure. So I'm a little worried. There we go. Health related, near death and health. I guess I guess we'll see how things go. I'm unsure of this. But we did do level 40, so I believe I guess next level is the real deciding one. But level 40 we did pretty damn well. So I'm not as worried for level 42 unless well, these guys are getting further. Uh, uh, it's so close. Oh, these ones will die. They're the only enemies within reach of my, like, home towers, I guess I'll call them. Oh, I guess fortification. Oh, what? Well, completely missed the map, one of them. All right, level 42. Moment of truth. I do like how at the beginning, all these mortars here get to attack the one portal. And then eventually the north basically comes down and they'll start getting attacked. I think it's, I think I do think this map is very nice for mortars. Attack the near death. Oh yeah, the eastern path gets like basically destroyed before the rest comes here. Again, all part of my plan. Oh god, that's a lot. Oh, they like all died. Nice. Alright, so the least shield, armor, and health, and let's just buff this tower. Like level 14 is good. Alright, well. You know, I think. I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure we've got this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not scared. These, these phantom ghost haunter things are gonna die like pretty quickly. They're fast, but they're not, they're not like really strong. Sure they've got shield, but I've got mortars. 
Uh, I guess crits deal additional 10%. So I think we already have one of those. So that means 20%? Nice. Yeah, this is my home team. So the house gave us 945 gold so far. That's, you know, that's, that's okay. It pays for one university and a few uh, points into studies. Speaking of studies, we have four health, seven armor, and four shield. Yeah, I really do think mortars are my favorite towers. I really like the Tesla coil, but then they got nerfed, so they don't shoot as fast, so I'm not as I'm not as in like with them anymore. Health marked. So we've got armor. Just trying to get different priorities than I usually do. Basically different priority combinations, so they might attack something else. I don't know. This is me panicking right now, building more defenses here when I don't really think I need them, but just in case. More crit. All right, this is before Big Brain Ogie. Look at this group of group of nubs, Ogie Boogies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to do this. I think, I mean, I guess the only issue is when Big Brain Oogie, wherever he spawns, if all my mortars focus on that instead of all the other mobs, it might cause a problem. I'm not really sure which one it's expanding to. Just in case. Just in case we focus on Big Brain Oogie and we need some backup. Just again, it's so satisfying when they all group up. So I think with mortars, a big thing is actually grouping them all up. So if strategically you don't plan your routes, it might be a lot harder than it should be. I'm not saying it's not doable. I'm just saying it's gonna be a lot harder. Cause obviously their strength is just the AOE. So you wanna try to hit as many mobs as possible in that. Uh, I mean, we that's not, it's only gonna be for one level. Might as well get the crit. What is it? Yeah. Let's get the crit. And now we've got 2% um, times three. Ooh, 2%. I should have probably, fit, you know, did better on that. All right, Big Brain Ogie, where are you? Uh, we'll just build a couple more. I have like almost 10,000 gold. There we go. Oh, big brain Ogie right there. Huh. So I guess all my, oh gosh. I hope my mortars don't only focus on him. I think a lot of them are though. How high can we go in dots? Please focus on those ones. Maybe if there's a priority of most grouped up or something, that would be nice. Again, I think it would be nice to have a priority of 
least amount of dot just so we can focus on oh god they're getting far just so we can focus on getting more like everyone having dots like just upgrade doesn't matter at this point but yeah so we're focusing on big brain Oogie a bit too much um so a lot of mobs are getting by i hope that's not our doom <laughs> getting to level 45 no okay i think i think it's okay oh yeah for sure it's basically only Big Brain Ogi and like one flying portal. Floating portal? I don't know what it's called, but... We have 93,000 burn? Yes. A hundred and some thousand burn. Pointless. Wait, do we have a hundred something? We have 127,000... Wait, is it 12? God. I think it's a little hard to see the numbers sometimes, but okay, let's focus on this guy. I don't know, it seems like we have, I can't, I honestly can't tell. I think we only have 15,000. No, we have 183,000 bleed on it. And like 200,000 burn. Well, huzzah, that was mortars only. That actually went really well. So we got two achievements. We got no more ballista and sticks and stones. Two achievements for this. I didn't know that I would get the Ballista and Mortar one, and also the Mortars only, but that's fine. Damage-wise, I... yeah, I think that's... I mean, obviously our Mortars did most damage. And look, this... it, it turned out nice, actually, at the beginning. Very nice, I like it. Well, there you have it, you can do Mortars only. Just follow exactly what I did. Get exactly the map I have, and you're fine. Or <laughs> figure out with your map how it is, because I have no idea. Another map could be way more difficult. It could be way easier. I don't know. I, I feel like I got a pretty easy map.